How you doing, everybody? This is Bob. I'm back here in the Alternative Energies Lab. Um, what you see on the screen right now is my manometer, or as I will call it through most of my videos now, the YouTube. Uh, I want you to watch this. Watch where this is. Watch it rise. Um, I'm probably going to put this video up before uh, I show you how to make this. I have the video on how I made it. I have to edit it because I, the computer crashed halfway through. But um, watch this. What you see rising, this is the negative side of the YouTube. Okay, this is not this is not my positive. The uh, my positive side is on this side. My negative side is on this side. What happened? This tool has given me so much information just in the last four hours than I've probably got from these cells in the last six months. This is a must-have. If you do not build this, you must go to a plumbing store and purchase a YouTube. This is a manometer, I'm sorry. This is incredible. The information that this thing will give you. As your cell cools down, it's going to need air. It needs air. It boiled all of the air, not boiled all of the air, but it, it forced all the air out of the cell while it was uh, making your hydrogen. So as it cools down, it, it's going to cause a vacuum. If you don't allow air to get into your cell, you're going to implode it. So I document everything I do via videos. I write things down in my journal to go over things. And I watch a lot of y'all's videos. Um, I determined I needed a check valve on my cell itself. You'll see that in the past videos. Again, now keep keep an eye on this. This is going to get up to about 1.25 inches of water column and then drop back down to point oh five. That That's telling me that my check valve, like I was just telling you about, at first I thought it wasn't working. Now normally I would have thought it wasn't working. But watching this, you'll watch this pretty soon here, it's going to drop. It's not going to drop real fast, but it's going to drop, which is telling me that at about 1.25, give or take 5%, my check valve opens. But then it will close again at 0 0.05. So, or 0 0.5, I'm sorry, not 0 0.05, but 0.5. I thought that was pretty cool. That was just one of the many things that this thing has showed me. This thing will show you how much pressure it takes to pull, to push your bubblers. Uh, it'll tell you it'll tell you what your breaking point of your cell is. Um, it told me a lot. It told me a lot tonight, and I'll go over that in the videos to come on how many ways this thing's helped. Again, this is this is totally up to you whether you want to use a tool similar to this or not but uh, it's incredible on the amount of information that it'll give you there it goes see it start to fall it reached about 2.3 you notice it's falling now my check valve is open on the cell uh, it'll drop it'll drop to about 0.5 maybe 0.6 Uh, pretty interesting. Uh, looks at, see that time it looks like it's making a liar out of me. It's holding about 0.9. The what I'm trying to do is I had added fins to my cell. I'm running distilled water. I'm running nine plates, and my plates are wrapped. I am using two grams of KOH2. That's potassium hydroxide. Two grams, okay? We're talking less than a half of a teaspoon in 800 milliliters of water. Uh, I've, got a, I've got a bunch of efficiencies here. Um, I vary from 5.03 to 
Uh, I've got as high as when I stopped measuring it, I got about 5.7. That's about the highest I got. What happened was once I got my cell temperature too high, I went into it just kind of just run away, almost like it started to boil on the inside. And I don't think it did boil because it was only at 135 degrees. So what I did is I kind of put together some fins. You can't see it in the background. This is my cell back here. You can't see it. But if you look right here, see if I can get something that's a little bit color, more colorful. All right. Back in the back here, you can see my yellow screwdriver with the, with the black handle on it. This obviously is my cell back here, but come out a little bit. Go to the right of your screen, and you see these white things right here? <laughs> these white things are actually the material that you would make a sign out of. Your sign company usually makes them. It's about, I don't know, we'll say 3 sixteenths to a quarter inch thick, and it's got like holes in it, like vents in it. And I have a little tiny cheap battery-powered fan behind it. Uh, believe it or not, what a difference. It, it kept my cell, my cell never got over 105 degrees with that on there. And that's only about two-thirds, or one-third of the cell is wrapped with those little screwy-looking fins on there. But what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to replicate it being in the, underneath the grill of a car. Um, I don't like to put my cells in the engine compartment. If at all, I, I mount them in front of the grill so they get air moving. So I'm trying to simulate that. Um, but obviously we can't simulate that in, in the shop, so that's why I didn't wrap it all up, and that's why I'm not using a huge fan on it. I'm just using a corny little uh, fan that I got at the Dollar General store, which I'll end up hooking up to my, um, my little transformer that I took out of a uh, X out of a uh, little uh, computer that I converted over to a transformer. It's low wattage, so but it's enough for these fans. Anyway, enough on that. YouTube. Like I said, I, I, I know there's not a lot going on in the video because I've got it aimed towards that uh, YouTube on what it's doing. But uh, as you see, it's dropping again. It uh, gives me a lot of information. Answers a lot of questions I didn't have answers for before. But enough on that. I'm going to go ahead and post this tonight. It's, I know my music's not on the, uh, on the entry and the exit, but um, I'm sure you're not going to mind. Uh, I will try and get those other videos up tomorrow. Uh, thanks, everybody. Good luck, and um, I'll get those videos up as soon as I can. Any questions, uh, feel free to comment on the site or uh, just drop me a line at uh, john at thestinger.com, and um, I'll make sure I get back to you. All right, everybody, be safe and experiment hard, and we will see you on the next video. Good night.